Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to make elements only visible to screen readers by using custom CSS. Uh, have you noticed that all the applied accessibility challenges so far haven't used any CSS? This is to show the importance of a logical document outline the, and using, uh, using semantically meaningful tags around your content before introducing the visual design aspects. However, CSS's magic can also improve accessibility on your page when you want to visually hide content meant only for screen readers. This happens when information is a visual format, like a chart, but screen, readers, screen reader users need to, an alternative presentation, like a table, to access the data. CSS is used to position the screen reader only elements off the visual area of the browser window. Here's an example of a CSS rule to accomplish this. So here we're setting a, a, a class of SR dash only and the position's absolute. It's set to the left by a thousand pixels, which basically means it's off the screen. The width is one pixel and the height is one pixel. So it's the, 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 the visual aspect of this is actually just a pixel by a pixel. So it's in, it's in almost entirely invisible. And we're setting the top is equal to auto and the overflow is equal to hidden. Um, so basically this CSS just makes it so whatever content is, is set to the class of SR only, meaning screen reader only, is basically just gonna be invisible to the user on, of normal web applications. However, if you have, uh, if you're using a tool to get information about a web page that uses that um, ignores the CSS because you're not seeing it visually, then this is actually going to, even though it'll hide it for visual people, it's going to keep that information available to those who have the tools to see it. The following CSS approach will not do the same thing. Display none or visibility hidden. This hides the content from everyone. So if you just do display none, it'll be invisible, but the screen readers won't be able to see it. So the zero values with pixels such as, oh, um, zero values for pixels sizes such as this, where here we set the width and the height to one pixel, but here they've set it to zero. This removes that element from the flow of your document, meaning the screen readers will ignore it. So this setting it here is the same as saying display none, and then you'll, your, uh, the people with screen readers will not actually have that information. So CamperCat created a really cool stacked bar chart from his training page and put the data into, into a table for visually impaired users. The data already has an SR only class, but the CSS rules aren't filled in yet. Give the position an absolute value, the left a negative 100 pixel value, and the width of the and height equal to one pixel. So we have SR only here. They've actually written in everything, so all we need to do is uh, come up here and fill it in. So for the position, we wanna make it absolute. And for left, we want to make it equal to a negative one, 10,000 pixels. For the width, we want to make it one pixel. And for the height, we want to make it one pixel. And then if we run the test, that should pass. So essentially all we're doing is making it so that the contents within SR only, Hours of weekly training in stealth. Um, combat weapons, stacked bar chart. Here they're showing a bar chart. Uh, master, camper, cats, beginner three week training. Okay, and then they've got the stacked bar chart here. And they close the figure with this breakdown of weapons. Instead of, yeah, and so the table here is for people who can't see the chart. And then we've got all the information in the table and then we go to stealth and agility. So this content that's in here that is useful for people with screen readers is going to be in between this block and this block. But because we've set it all out to the side, um, it's visible. If I were to remove this class for now, we would see that this bar chart, this chart right here comes back on. But we don't want this here because those who, have, who are not using, um, who aren't using the, uh, they don't have need, they're not visually impaired, so they don't need a screen reader. For those people, they can just look at the bar chart, but we've also created this table for people that are visually impaired. And so if we add this class in here, as SR only, which we wrote above, it becomes invisible. And therefore, this page is optimized to be better for people who have visual impairments, but it's also optimized so that people that don't have visual impairments have to see the data that is supportive of people with visual impairments. Anyways, hope that helps you guys. Uh, the test should be passing and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.